Hello everyone and welcome into today's reaction video. Are you ready to watch a movie with me? Because I am ready to watch a movie with you and it's so exciting. Today is the kickoff of my journey into the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the first time and I am starting with the movie Iron Man from 2008. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is KL and this corner of YouTube is where I watch movies for the first time, provide commentary and reactions while I'm watching the movie. And then after the movie, I kind of just let out all my thoughts and my review of the film. Welcome in and I hope you enjoy your time here. So first, uh, for those of you that have watched my videos before, you'll probably notice that my hair is different. I decided to go back to blonde, which is the color that I've been for most of my life. But I did do something very different with my hair that I've never done before, and that was get an undercut. And it feels amazing, and I have a feeling that I'm always going to have an undercut now because it just feels way too good. Are there any other ladies that have undercuts that you can't see? You should let me know in the comments. All right, hair talk out of the way. Let's talk about MCU. So yes, I have never seen a single movie in this entire franchise. Don't ask me why, because I don't have a good answer for you. It's just something that I haven't done. I don't have a particular reason. I just haven't gone and seen anything. Now, if we're being like technical about it, I believe that some of the later Spider-Man movies are included in the MCU, but I don't think technically the early ones are. I have seen the first two Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. I can't remember if I've seen the third or not. That's a movie where I don't think I'll remember it unless I actually start watching it, if I have seen it before, because I don't remember if I have. So that one's kind of a maybe, but I have not seen the Garfield ones. And I think there's one more guy that was a Spider-Man at one point. I haven't seen those ones. And when I was looking through the list of MCU movies, I don't recognize anything. So I have not seen any of them. I think maybe I saw an Ant-Man movie a very long time ago. I feel like that's gonna be a movie that if I have seen it before, I'm I'm not gonna know until I watch it, so we'll see. This franchise has been requested heavily ever since I started my Star Wars reactions, which were the first reactions that I did on my channel. So I was thinking about another series to start and I figured, you know what, let's just dive into the one that's been the most requested since I started this journey. So yeah, I'm happy to sit here and say, yes, it's happening. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I really hope that you enjoy watching these reactions. Now, for simplicity's sake and to not overwhelm myself, I'm going to be watching these films in the order that they were released. Least. I understand that there is a whole whack of tie-in media such as TV shows and these like one-shot films or whatever. I am probably going to save all that stuff until the end, kind of similar to what I did with Star Wars. When I watched Star Wars, I watched through all of the films first and then I started diving into the TV shows after the fact and I'm currently still making my way through them over on my Patreon. So I think I'm just gonna do the same with the MCU. Although I will promise and commit right now that if I do dive into the MCU TV shows, they will be done on the channel and not exclusive to Patreon. So you can enjoy that when the time comes. And lastly, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but please do not spoil any of the future movies, TV shows, one shots, anything for me. Please, when you're watching a video of mine that's in the MCU, please just leave your comments on that video about that movie in particular. I also request that you do not leave any kind of expectation spoilers. Those are comments that are along the lines of, you're gonna love, you're gonna hate, you're gonna cry, you're gonna be upset, you're gonna be excited, blah, blah, blah. Please do not set expectations for how I'm going to feel or how I'm going to react. It is much more fun for me if I go in as blind as possible without knowing any information. So please respect this. I thank you in advance and I may have to like avoid my comment section if things get too out of hand, but hopefully they won't. All right, so Iron Man, what do I know about this movie? I don't know much. I think Robert Downey Jr. is the main actor in this movie who plays like the human version and the Iron Man version of Iron Man. <laughs> I know that Iron Man is like red and gold with like rectangle slits for eyeballs, I think, or like that's just how the mask is set up. I'm assuming it's a mask. And I have seen a YouTube scene from a movie. I don't know if it's this one or if it's Iron Man 2 or maybe perhaps it's a different movie down the road in the MCU, but I have seen a scene on YouTube where someone edited Black Sabbath's Iron Man over top of it. So I have seen that video, but obviously I don't have any context for that scene because I haven't seen any of the movies. I just, I watched that video once, so 
I have seen that. But overall, I feel like I know next to nothing, and you guys know by now that this is my preference for going into movies. I like pretty much knowing nothing, so I feel pretty happy with the way that I'm going into Iron Man today. As always, the full-length watch-along for this film, all of the ones coming up, and every movie that I've watched on the channel, those are all available over on my Patreon. There are a lot of other benefits in addition to the full-length watch-along, so feel free to click below, check it out, come and join the Patreon community if you'd like. We'd be happy to have you there. And that is it for this introduction. I am ready to begin the movie. As always, make sure you subscribe if you want to come back for more movies. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment if you like. And with that, let's press play. Oh, he's dressed fancy. All right. I don't want to see this on your MySpace page. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. <laughs> I'd be out of a job with peace. Oof. Oh my god. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm a little weak, you mean, god. Uh, is it safe for him to be in the truck? I mean, probably more safe than being outside of the truck. No, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Damn, dude. What a chaotic opening. Okay, so Tony Stark. I've heard the name. I'm assuming that's this guy now because he said Stark and then that weapon said Stark Industries. <laughs> All right. Tony Iron Man, let's go. Ah, uh, all right. Visionary. Genius. At age four, he built his first circuit board. Wow. So we're dealing with a smarty pants then. Howard Stark's lifelong friend and ally, Obadiah Stane, steps in at age 21. The prodigal son returns and is anointed the new CEO of Stark Industries. Okay. Creating smarter weapons, advanced robotics. It is my honor to present this year's Apogee Award to Mr. Tony Stark. Except he's not gonna... Oh wait, 36 hours earlier. No, he's not here. Huh. Well, I'm not Tony Stark. Uh... I know that actor. I cannot think of his name right now, though. <laughs> this will not stand, you know? This aggression will not stand, man. It's right here. Uh, yeah, one more round. There, you there, go. there it is. That was easy. Excuse me, Mr. Stark, Christine Everhart, Vanity Fair magazine. Can I ask you a couple of questions? She's cute. She's all right. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go. <laughs> I think I recognize that one bodyguard too behind him. Again, can't remember the name. It's an imperfect world, but it's the only one we've got. I guarantee you, the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll start making bricks and beans for baby hospitals. You rehearse that much? Every night in front of the mirror before bedtime. I can see that. I'd like to show you firsthand. You ever lose an hour of sleep your whole life? Be prepared to lose a few with you. Oh god. <laughs> oh, and it's actually happening. Okay. Okay. If I were her, I'd just start exploring the house. This looks like fun. You are not authorized to access this area. <laughs> Jesus. That's Jarvis. He runs the house. <laughs> you must be the famous Pepper Potts. Indeed I am. I know her too, but I also can't think of the name right now. I'm so bad with actor names sometimes. You are supposed to be halfway around the world right That's now. How'd you take it? Like a champ. I need you to sign to this before what are you, you get on the plane. What are you trying to get plane? rid of me for? Do you got plans? As a matter of fact, I do. I don't like it when you have plans. I'm allowed to have plans on my birthday. <gasps> it's your birthday. Yeah, isn't that strange? It's the same day as last year. <laughs> Come on, get yourself something nice for me. I already did. And? Oh, it was very nice. And? Very tasteful. They have an interesting working relationship. It's like, I don't know, I feel like Tony Stark is a big flirt. And so even if he like isn't interested in the person, he's still kind of fl is flirty with them anyway. It's just kind of the vibe I get from him, you know? What's wrong with you? What? Three hours. I got caught doing a piece for Vanity Fair. Okay. <laughs> that was the day before. <laughs> a little white liar he is. Hot sake? Yes, two, please. No, just, I'm not drinking. I don't want any. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, no, you don't have to be like me, but you are more than what you Excuse are. Excuse me if I'm just a little bit distracted. Oh, the pole coming up from underneath. Love that. Stark to me just feels like a party man. Is it better to be feared or respected? I say, is it too much to ask for both? I prefer the weapon you only have to fire once. Whoa, those are big.
Oh, okay. Many missiles. The Jericho. What a demo. <laughs> I'll be throwing one of these in with every purchase of 500 million Oh my more. god. <laughs> I couldn't sleep till I found out how it went. How'd it go? Went great. Looks like it's gonna be an early Christmas. Hey! Hey, Tony! I'm sorry, this is the fun bee. The humdrum bee is back there. Okay, so this is how he ends up where we are at the start of the movie. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Gross. Oh, what the fuck? Is he like a battery run now? <laughs> I'm battery powered. What I did is to save your life. I removed all the shrapnel I could. There's a lot left and it's headed into your atrial septum. What is this? That is an electromagnet hooked up to a car battery. Where are we? Stand up! As I do. He says, welcome, Tony Stark, the most famous mass murderer in the history of America. He wants you to build the missile. The Jericho missile. I refuse. Oh, boy. They have everything you need to build the Jericho missile. It says uh, for you to start working immediately, and when you're done, it will set you free. Oh, boy. No, no. No, he won't. They will never find you in these mountains. That is your legacy, Star. Yeah. Is this the last act of defiance of the great Tony Stark? This is a very important week for you, isn't it? <laughs> Sure is. That's the thing about making weapons is like, <sighs> your weapons can end up in the hands of good guys, but they can also end up in the hands of bad guys. And that's the case here. His name is on every single thing that these people are using. My name is Jensen. Jensen. Nice to meet you. I love how they said that now, after all this time. Oh, by the way, what's your name? What's kind of interesting to me and like reflects well on Tony anyway, is that like, I feel like all of his missiles, like he, or just weapons in general, but I feel like his company would be at the point where it's like mass produced, right? So it's not really people working on them anymore, but the fact that he's like sitting here building it himself is kind of, kind of cool. That doesn't look like a Jericho missile. That's because it's a miniaturized arc reactor. She keeps the shrapnel out of my heart. Oh, cool, fancy. Three gigajoules per second. That could run your heart for 50 lifetimes. Whoa. This is our ticket out of here. Ah, okay. But how are they gonna make that while getting past the eyes of these guys watching them through the cameras, you know? Cool. <clears throat> so it begins. Got a family? Yes, and I will see them when I leave here. And you, Stark? No family. So you're a man who has everything, and nothing. Mm. <laughs> okay, well that answers my question. They're still watching them, they're just confused why it doesn't look the way it should. This guy is the most intimidating out of all of them to me. He looks like he doesn't put up with any bullshit at all. The bow and arrow once was the pinnacle of weapons technology. But today, whoever holds the latest Stark weapons rules these lands. Which major? Bhat Bhat Kuzagya. At the Arkha. Got no pay. Sit up. Watch. Bine. No, 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 no. Mukono. No. What does he want? No, 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 no. Jericho! I need him. Delivery date? I can't. I need him. You have till tomorrow. <sighs> I was really worried we were gonna have to see that guy's tongue be burned. You didn't stalk. Clever. Excellent. <laughs> you walked away. I do. 
I'll make sure the checkpoints are clear before you follow me out, okay? We need more time. I'm gonna go buy you some time. Stick to the plan! <gasps> Get shot! No, 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 no. Excellent. But is Yinsen okay? I hope he hasn't been shot yet. Ouch. He kind of reminds me of the Iron Giant. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, there he is. We gotta go. Move with me. Come on, we got a plan. We're gonna stick to it. Come on, you're gonna go see your family. Get him. My family's dead. I'm going to see them now. No. <sighs> Rest in peace, Jensen. My turn. <laughs> Love it. I like that he's burning all of his stuff, too. That's so nice. Even if I had that kind of protection, I still would not want to be hit by so many bullets. That would just freak me out. Oh, shit. Whoa. I didn't know he had that built in. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> now what? All right, well, first Iron Man suit destroyed, but obviously he can build another one. And the next one he can probably build faster and better. <laughs> next time you ride with me, okay? <laughs> Aw, I'm so happy he's rescued. I'm curious how long he was um, trapped for or kidnapped. A few tears for your long lost boss. Tears of joy. I hate job hunting. <laughs> yeah, vacation's over. Well, I don't have to do anything. To I've been in you. captivity for three months. Three months? Whoa. Cheeseburger. Damn, dude. You think I want you to call for a press conference now? Call for a press conference? Yeah. Hogan, what on drive. Earth for? Cheeseburger first. <laughs> Honestly, I also would probably get a cheeseburger if I had been trapped like that for three months. Eating God knows what. Yeah, give me a big. Bacon cheeseburger, please and thank you. <laughs> Burger King, love it. I'm very curious about this press conference and what he's going to say. I'm not part of the press conference, but it's about to begin right now. Who is this? I'm Agent Phil Coulson with the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. We need to debrief Mr. Stark about the circumstances of his escape. I'll put something in the book, shall I? Thank you. Hey, would it be all right if everyone sat down? Why don't you just sit down? That way you can see me and I can... <laughs> I love it. Oh, is the guy, the bald guy, Jeff Bridges? I feel like that's wrong, but I also feel like that's right. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I, I had my eyes open. I came to realize that I have more to offer this world than just making things to blow up. And that is why, effective immediately, I am shutting down the weapons manufacturer division of Stark International. Wow. As I can decide what the future of this company okay, will be, what direction it should take. Just let him. I kind of had a feeling that that was going to be what he was going to say. Something like, I don't want to do the weapons thing anymore. And of course, nobody's going to agree with him, I feel like. Did I just paint a target on the back of my head? Your head? What about my head? What do you think the over-under on the stock drop is going to be tomorrow? Uh, optimistically, 40 points mm. at minimum. Let's not focus about the stock market right now, though. Arc reactor technology. That's a dead end, right? Maybe. We're a team. Do you understand? There's nothing we can't do if we stick together. You gotta let me handle this. We're gonna have to play a whole different kind of ball now. Ha ha! Sell, sell, sell! Abandon ship! Does the bring any <sighs> The company can change directions. It's fine. How big are your hands? I don't understand why... Get down here, I need you. <laughs> Is it safe? Yeah, it should be fine. It's like operation. You just don't let it touch the socket wall. <laughs> it's it's right. 
miss Operation. That was such a fun game, but it always scared me. Just make it quick. In, grab, pull out. The cover where you okay. got it. I got it. Okay, you got it. Now don't let it touch. Ah, eyes, eyes when you're coming out. That's what sorry. I was so, trying to tell you before. Okay, now make sure that when you pull it out, you don't pull out the, there's a magnet at the end of it. That was it. Oh my God, put it in, put it in, put it in. Put it in. Okay. Okay. Put it in. Okay. I... Don't ever, ever, ever. Ever ask me to do anything like that ever again? I don't have anyone, but you. Oh. What do you want me to do with this? That? Destroy it. You don't want to keep it? Pepper, I've been called many things. Nostalgic is not one of them. That's a picture of me and my dad. Rody, I'm working on something big. Iron Man version 2.0. This is not for the military. I'm not. It's different. What? You, you humanitarian now or something? I need you to listen to me. No, what you need is time to get your mind right. This guy's the leader of his own company. He can decide the direction that it goes. So what if he did become a humanitarian? Sometimes you need like really shitty experiences like that to open up your eyes and make you change. Shall I store this on the stock industry central bank? No. I actually don't know who to trust right now. Till further notice, why don't we just keep everything on my private server? Working on a secret project, are we, sir? Oh, are these guys digging up all the pieces of the suit? Looks like it to me. Is that the mask? Yep. Great. Ooh. Nice injury on the head there. Not complete, dummy. Right here. You got me? Dummy, look alive. We're gonna stand by for fire safety. <laughs> what? That was only 10%, oh my god. <laughs> I love these types of scenes where we like see it all come together. They're always my favorite in movies like this. I don't know why, I just, I don't know. I just like seeing the building process. I feel like maybe these two are gonna have a romantic interest by the end of the movie. Like, you know, are into each other a little bit. Cause he did say, you're the only one in my life right now, kind of, sort of, you know. I love his fit right now. Love the tie. The board is claiming a post-traumatic stress. They're filing an injunction. A what? Tony, the board has rights too. This is the big downside of like corporations, board of directors, blah, 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 blah. Shareholders, blah, 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 blah. You mind if I come down there and see what you're doing? Good night, Obi. So you douse me again and I'm not on fire. I'm donating you to- <laughs> All right, nice and easy. Just gonna start off. With 1% thrust capacity. 1%, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. Please don't follow me around with it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna catch my fire I feel like that would be so hard to control. Ooh, look at that. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Engage heads up display. Check. Sir, there are still terabytes of calculations needed before an actual flight is a Jarvis, sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. Ready? In three, two, one. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> the altitude record for fixed wing flight is 85,000 feet, sir. Record to me to be broken, come on! First flight out going for the record. Might as well. Fatal build up of ice occurring. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no. Kill power. <laughs> Please don't give him away. He's just doing his job. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's what she did with it. That's sweet. Okay, what are these guys doing with this now? I wonder if they're attempting to put it back together so that one of them wears it. It seems like that's what they're doing. Maybe he wants to be the one to wear it. Perhaps if you intend to visit other planets, we should improve. <laughs> I love Jarvis. <laughs> For Tony Stark's third annual benefit for the Firefighters Family Fund to be Jarvis, you get an invite for that? I have no record of an invitation, sir. He didn't get an invite to his own benefit? What? 
Does he even need an invite? Throw a little hot rod red in there. Yes, that should help you keep a low profile. <laughs> Jarvis is so sassy. I love it. Oh, he is gonna go. Hey, Tony. Remember me? Sure don't. <laughs> Look great, Hef. <laughs> What's the world coming to when a guy's gotta crash his own party? <laughs> Look at you. Take it slow, all right? I think I got the board right where we want them. You got it. All right. Just cabin fever. I'll just be a minute. Hmm. I wonder if Obi's worried. Oh, this guy yeah. again. Right. Agent Coulson. Forgot about him. Strategic Homeland Intervention right, Enforcement yeah. Logistics. <laughs> the mouthful. <laughs> How about the 24th? Ooh, damn. You got that dress, you got though. Where'd you get that dress? I, oh, it was a birthday present Screen. from you, actually. Oh. <laughs> got great taste. Yes. You, uh, want to dance? Oh, no. All right, Thank you. No. <sighs> I, I, I always forget to wear a deodorant and dance with my boss in front of everyone that I work with in a dress with no back. You look great. You smell great. Oh, God. Love it. I, could... I, don't, I actually don't think that you could tie your shoes without me. I'd make it a week. Really? Sure. What's your social security number? <laughs> I love these two. No, it was not just a dance. You don't understand because you're you. And... Everybody knows exactly who you are and how you are with girls and, and all of that, which is completely fine. But, you know, then me, you're my boss and I'm really dancing think, with you. No, because really it makes me it look like way. the one who's trying to, I just think you're you know, and we're here. I totally understand where she's coming from. Is this going to get interrupted or just not? I would like a drink, guys. That was kind of awkward. In case you didn't Is hear. this what you call accountability? It's a town called Galmira. Heard of it? How many you taken? Yesterday. Have you seen those pictures? What's going Tony, on? Tony, Tony. If we're double dealing under the table, are we? I was the one who filed the injunction against you. This sucks. Oh, heck, look at this. Fancy. That is the Iron Man I've seen pictures of. God, this is terrible. Ah! Is hot ah! Yes. Let's go. Oh, God, that scared me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, what was that? Love it. <laughs> I've got Langley on the line. You want to know if it's us? No, it definitely is not us, sir. Let's make a call. I wonder if he... Okay. I was just about to say, I feel like he suspects... Tony. <laughs> Who's this? It's Rhodes. Sorry? Hello? What the hell is that noise? Oh, yeah, I'm driving the top down. <laughs> about to be blown to kingdom come. That's my exit. Oh gosh. The fuck left! <sighs> Holy! I think bogey has been handled, sir. <laughs> this is not a piece of equipment. I'm in it. It's a shoot. It's me! Oh my god. Whiplash 2, do you see a shoot? Negative. Oh my god. Iron Man, please save him. Please save him. Nice. Nice. You still there? Hey, thanks. Oh my god, you crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me a plane, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah, well, technically he hit me. 
<laughs> so I love that they were talking to each other. It is still unclear who or what intervened. Oh, I feel like Obi is very upset about everything that's going on. And let's face it, he probably has like a severe financial interest in all of this for them to keep doing the weapons thing, right? <clears throat> oh no! Speaking of Obi, god damn it. Yeah, I don't like Obi anymore. Compliments of Tony Stark. Ah, if you kill him when you were supposed to, you'd still have a face. When you're supposed to? No! Show me the weapon. Ugh. I should have known. I should have known. You know? Fuck. Sakes. His escape bore unexpected fruit. So this is how he did it. Stark has perfected his design. A man with a dozen of these can rule all of Asia. We have a common enemy. We are still in business. Don't worry. It'll only last for 15 minutes. The fuck, dude? Set up sector 16 underneath the arc reactor, and I'm going to want this data mask. <sighs> Annoying. But there's always got to be a bad guy, so. They've been dealing under the table, and I'm going to stop. I'm going to find my weapons and destroy them. I cannot help you if you're going to start all of this again. There's the next mission and nothing else. Well, then I quit. Oh boy. You stood by my side all these years while I reaped the benefits of destruction. And now that I'm trying to protect the people that I put in harm's way, you're gonna walk out? You're gonna kill yourself, Tony. I shouldn't be alive unless it was for a reason. I just finally know what I have to do. Yeah, please don't leave. Stay, please stay. You're all I have to, you know. Cute. All right, I hope this works without a problem. Fingers crossed for just smooth hacking. Do not tell us that the target you paid us to kill was the great Tony Stark. As you can see, Obadiah Stain, your deception and lies will cost you dear. Oh, of course, this couldn't just go smoothly. I was so happy when he came home. It was like we got him back from the dead. Sure. Sure you are. Better get back there. Is that today's paper? Puzzle. Of course. <sighs> really? You didn't realize that that's what she was in there for? Yes, to power the suit. So the technology actually doesn't exist. Here is the technology. Honestly, it's impossible. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. It's not that simple. It's this thing that is the key. Please answer, please answer, please answer. No, no. Breathe. You son of a bitch. You remember this one, right? It's a shame the government didn't approve them. There's so many applications for causing short-term paralysis. Well. When I, uh, ordered the hit on you. I worried that I was killing the golden goose. No, 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 no. You had one last golden egg to give. Can he still use the other one that she kept and gifted him? This is your legacy. I wish you could see my prototype. Too bad you had to involve Pepper in this. I would have preferred that she lived. What a dick. Don't like him. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Get it. Get it. No, 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 no. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, dummy. <laughs> so I feel like this movie is going to end with like Opie versus Tony, both in Iron Man suits. Feels like we're building up to that. Tony! Tony! Did he manage to get it in? Yay! She's fine. She's with five agents there about to arrest Obadiah. That's not gonna be enough. I'm really nervous for Pepper. I, yeah, I'm nervous for all of them, actually. Device? It's like a thing that's gonna pick the lock? You might want to take a few steps back. <laughs> 
need me to do anything else? Keep the skies clear. I love that he went through the same hole that he created. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Next time, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think y'all are arresting him today, but you can certainly try. I feel very tense. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How do you think the Mark I chess piece is gonna hold up? The suits are 48% power and falling, sir. That chess piece was never designed for sustained flight. Oh boy. No, listen, you better get out of there. Get out of there right now. Oh my god, go run, 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 run. Where do you think you're going? This suit is like four times the size. Services are no longer required. Stay! <laughs> what are you? Why? No. Let's put him down. Collateral damage, Tony. Divert power to chest RT. Reduced to 19%. 19, oh no. For 30 years, I've been holding you up. I built this company for nothing. And nothing is going to stand in my way. a lot <laughs> take me to maximum altitude with only 15 percent power the odds of reaching that altitude. i know the math do it damn dude all right well he's going much slower you guys aren't doing anything unless not necessary people just a training exercise <laughs> unless they target obi you guys can get rid of him that's fine just avoid the red one. <gasps> oh, i know what he's doing is he freezing him up I have a great idea, Tony, but my suit is more advanced in every way. How'd you solve the icing problem? Icing problem. <laughs> yes. Yes, let's go. All right, can you get back down? Yeah, okay, time to go. <laughs> we are now running on emergency backup power. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Are you okay? I'm almost out of power. I gotta get out of this thing. No, oh my God. no, no, no. no. Weapon status! This isn't working. We're gonna have to overload the reactor and blast the roof. You're gonna do it. Go to the central console, open up all the circuits. When I get clear of the roof, I'll let you know you're gonna hit the master bypass button. Oh my god, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. This looks important! I never had a taste for this sort of thing. I'm deeply enjoying the suit. It's ready, Tony. Get off the roof. Time to rid the world of weapons. You gave it its best one ever. Pepper! And now, I'm going to kill you with it. Time to hit the button. You told me not to. Just do it. We need to charge this thing. Iron Man, that's kind of catchy. It's got a nice ring to it. I mean, it's not technically <laughs> accurate. Just, it's a gold titanium alloy. <laughs> well, you can't call it a gold titanium alloy, man. <laughs> Small aircraft have such a...
poor safety record. But what about the whole cover story? That it's a bodyguard? He's my body? I mean, is that, that's kind of flimsy, don't you think? This isn't my first rodeo, Mr. Stark. You'll be hearing from us. From the strategic homeland and... Just call us S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. You know, if I were Iron Man, I'd have this girlfriend who knew my true identity. She'd be well... Die, well, <clears throat> crazy about me. Tell me you never think about that night. What night? You know. Oh. Are you talking about you went downstairs to get me a drink and you left me there by myself? <laughs> and now Mr. Stark has prepared a statement. Mr. Stark, but do you honestly expect us to believe that that was a bodyguard in a suit? It is one thing to question the official story and another thing entirely to make wild accusations or insinuate that I'm uh, a superhero. I so, never said so you're a superhero. Well, good, because that would be outlandish and, uh, Just... yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Was he gonna stick to the cards? I am Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> Rhodes is like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> I've been told that there are post credits scenes that I need to watch, so. Oh! <gasps> the music in this was done by the same guy that did the Game of Thrones music? No fucking way! Oh my god. Jeff Bridges knew it. Also, the guy that was playing Hugh Hefner, that wasn't actually Hugh Hefner, was it? That was Stan Lee, I think. I feel like that was just a little tiny cameo by him. Also, John Favreau, I did not realize that he directed this. Jarvis. Welcome, Holmes. Jarvis. I am Iron Man. You think you're the only superhero in the world? Mr. Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Samuel L. Jackson, hello. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. All right. All right, so that was Iron Man, and I had so much fun watching this. That was really enjoyable, and what a kickoff for this franchise. But before I talk about the story, let me just touch on a few things real quick that I said during the reaction that I have finally gotten cleared up now that I've seen the cast list. So first, yes, it was Jeff Bridges. I was correct, though I didn't pick up right away that it was Jeff Bridges. Second, I cannot believe that I did not recognize that the bodyguard was Jon Favreau. I feel kind of silly about that one. Third, I thought that Gwyneth Paltrow might have actually been Michelle Pfeiffer, forgive me. Sometimes I get female actors especially confused and I wasn't confident that it was either one. Confirmed that it's Gwyneth Paltrow. And lastly, what both myself and Tony Stark thought was Hugh Hefner was actually the Stan Lee cameo. And I realized it as soon as the movie ended and I was thinking back going, okay, so where did Stan Lee pop up? Because I knew that he makes cameos in this movie and then it clicked that it was him as Hugh Hefner, so yeah. I will definitely make sure to like really look out for him in future movies and I'm excited to see where he ends up. So overall, this movie was a really great experience and I enjoyed it a lot. I felt that this movie was paced incredibly well. Not once did I feel even a little bit bored by what I was watching on screen. The other thing is I felt like I didn't really know where the story was going, at least not up until Obi was revealed as the bad guy. And then once he was, then I kind of had a feeling of what was coming and that we were gonna end the movie with a battle between Tony Stark and him. So I'm glad for that. I'm glad that in like the first half, I really didn't know what was coming in the story. I thought the writing was done really well. I really, really enjoyed all of the humor that was mixed in with the more serious bits. I thought that some of the lines were hilarious and just really well delivered and really well done. As for the action and the fighting, I thought that it was good. It wasn't over the top for me. It just felt enjoyable to watch. So yeah, overall, a very solid, very fun film. All right, let's talk about characters and casting. I think that Robert Downey Jr. was an excellent tone Tony Stark and I really can't picture any other actor being a Tony Stark and being him the way that Robert Downey Jr. was. Like I feel like Robert Downey Jr. like is Tony Stark, you know what I mean? I just think that the way he delivered lines, the way he acted his facial expressions, like the way he delivered humor especially, like everything was just done really really well and really good. And as for the character, we gotta love a billionaire who realizes 
realizes that there is more to life than just the money, especially when you're in fucking weapons manufacturing of all things. Like I said at one point, sometimes it takes having to be in a situation like that to really make you change your ways and kind of change your line of thinking and kind of change your morals almost a little bit. Like being captured like that for three months would be very traumatic. And I don't know, I think that all of us would be very, very impacted if we were in situations like that. So what better way than to take your knowledge and your expertise and use it for good and also use your weapons manufacturing, but only use it on the true baddies. Like, I don't know. There's just something very cool about it. Jeff Bridges as Obadiah was wonderful. And I really liked Obi before it was revealed that he was a bad guy and really just in it for a terrible reason. And I really enjoyed him also after that point, especially when he was in the suit at the very end of the movie. Like I felt like he was a very threatening person. And I love the bald look on Jeff Bridges, by the way. I thought at first that it was a bald cap that was just done really, really well. But by the end of the movie, I was like, no, I think that's actually his real head. And he genuinely shaved it for the movie and grew out a beard. And I think that that look just he looks really good like that. <laughs> this is also the second movie that I've seen Jeff Bridges in. I only know him as the dude. I've watched The Big Lebowski way too many times to count. So I feel like I'll always see Jeff Bridges as the dude and like nothing else. But I feel like after this, especially, I definitely got to broaden my Jeff Bridges horizon a little bit more and watch some of his other films because I genuinely like him as an actor. I think he's great. And uh, I definitely enjoyed Obi because of that. Yinsen, who is played by Sean... Taub, Tube, Tobe. I have no idea how to pronounce his last name. I really enjoyed Jensen. I thought he was a great character. And when you think about it, the rest of the movie wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Jensen. Like he was the one that created the chess piece to be able to, what was it? It was like a magnet, like pulling out those scraps of things so that it wouldn't get into his heart, right? So really, I feel like this whole movie, we gotta credit Jensen, right? We gotta be like, yo, thank you so much for your help. Anyway, I really enjoyed him. And I think that his death was one of the factors that influenced Tony Stark to kind of change his ways because Robert Downey Jr.'s facial expressions during that scene where Yinsen died, like, I don't know, I felt that across the screen, like he was hit emotionally by that. And I definitely feel like that ultimately, I mean, it wasn't the only factor, but it definitely was a reason why he decided to do what he did. The more secondary characters in Rhodey and Pepper, I really liked both of their relationships with Tony Stark and I enjoyed the actress for both. I thought Terrence Howard did a really great job. And I personally enjoyed Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper, but again, it's kind of hard to imagine someone else in the role when, I mean, I've only seen this movie the one time. So it's kind of hard to say, maybe if I watch this movie like 10 times, I'd maybe be able to think of possibly other actors and actresses that could play these characters. But uh, I enjoyed the relationship that Tony had with them. One thing I will say now that the movie is over about Pepper and Tony specifically is I'm actually very glad that they didn't kiss on screen. I'm glad that we didn't have that kind of moment because I didn't think it was really necessary. I think the little flirting that they had and just the way that they acted with each other was enough to show us that there was an, inter an interest there between them. I really enjoyed the relationship between them both when they were kind of like flirty with each other and then also more on the professional side of things. There was also a little bit of like shyness that came through from both of them with each other on screen that I really appreciated. And the post credit scene. So I didn't pick up that the whole mouthful name of that organization or agency was S.H.I.E.L.D. Now I have heard of S.H.I.E.L.D. before. I think there's a TV show that is about this agency and division as part of the overall universe. So I'm very excited to get into that when the time comes. To me, this post credit scene, because it wasn't very long, it feels like it's intended for us to just kind of roll right into Iron Man 2. It kind of just acted as that bridge between movies. I mean, I'll find out when I get to Iron Man 2, but that's just kind of what it feels like to me just watching it now for the first time. So we'll wait and see. So I think that's about all I have to say about this movie from my own brain. I started doing this a couple reactions ago, but I'm really enjoying going online and looking up little like fun fact bits about these movies that I'm watching. So let's go do that now. So I'm going to make sure to be careful with this because I don't want to accidentally spoil myself for movies that are still to come. But I think the part I'm about to read because I started skimming through it and it seemed interesting. So let me just read this part right now. I think I should be OK. But because I liked the writing so much and the humor in this movie, I'm reading right now, there was much improvisation in dialogue scenes because the script was not completed when filming began. 
The filmmakers had focused on the story making sense and they planned the action. Favreau felt that improvisation would make the film feel more natural. Some scenes were shot with two cameras to capture lines set on the spot. Multiple takes were done as Downey wanted to try something new every time. It was Downey's idea to have Stark hold a news conference on the floor and he created the speech Stark makes when demonstrating the Jericho weapon. That's cool. Bridges described this approach as a $200 million student film and noted that it caused stress for Marvel executives when the stars were trying to come up with dialogue on the day of filming scenes. He also noted that in some instances, he and Downey would swap characters for rehearsal to see how their own lines sounded. That is really cool. And now that I know that so much of it was improvised, I feel like now that just makes me think even, even more highly of the writing in this movie, the humor, and everything that happened, I think that's lovely. I also just saw here a little bit higher, I kind of skipped over the part about pre-production, but I did just notice that Favreau wanted the film to be believable by showing the construction of the Iron Man suit in its three stages. I mentioned during the movie that seeing the construction of Iron Man, like seeing those scenes, watching Tony Stark work and, and bring Iron Man to life, both when he was in the cave and then also later on when he was in his garage, I'm gonna call it a garage, even though it's a very fancy outfitted garage, but that room where he has all his cars and he was working on like the red and the gold one. I love those scenes. I just love watching that stuff come together. So it makes me really happy to see that that was like fully intentional. Febro definitely wanted that. I think that that worked really, really well. Okay, I'm reading about the soundtrack. Tom Morello makes a cameo appearance in the film and he also contributed guitar performances to the score. Did not notice that, did not recognize Tom Morello whatsoever. I'm definitely going to have to try and catch that in editing if I can. I'm gonna have to double check what Tom Morello looks like because I feel like I kind of know what he looks like, but I might have to pull up some images of 2008, or I guess it would be 2007 Tom Morello to see, or just remember what he looked like back then and then see if I can find him in the movie. And finally, we have arrived to the letterboxed review feature of my reviews where I go and pick some really entertaining to me letterboxed reviews that technically aren't even reviews. They're just little bits of humor that I enjoy. So the first review is a four star review from Lily that says Lily watches every Marvel movie for the first time. Part one, Iron Man. I've actually been scared to death to dive into the MCU because of how much some people are obsessed with it. And I kept thinking it can't be that great. But here I am one film in and I'd already give up a few limbs for Tony Stark. This isn't looking good for me, ladies. And honestly, I 100% agree. <laughs> And the last Letterboxd review is a five-star review by Tara that says, did you know John Favreau was able to build this in a cave with a bunch of scraps? Did you? So yeah, Iron Man, great movie. I'm excited to continue in the MCU. Thank you so much for joining me. If you wanna subscribe, click here. And if you wanna keep on watching something, click over here. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. And we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.